let's turn to Devin Bartolotta. She is live in Mobile 13 in Charles Village with how crews are trying to get a head start against the weather. Hi, Devin. Hi, Denise. We are headed north on Charles Street. Let me give you a look at what we are seeing here. Uh, you can see these pre-treatment lines on the road right here. These crews, both state and city crews, are trying to think ahead and stay ahead of this storm to keep tomorrow from being as little of a mess as possible. Staying ahead of the storm, pre-treatment started early. We did start pre-treating operations over the weekend. We're going to continue today and make sure that's enabled to dry and leave that film behind to prevent that initial bonding of snow and ice. Chopper 13 spotted State Highway Administration trucks working Tuesday, drizzling a mix of salt, water, and strategy on about 17,500 lane miles across the state. Its fleet of up to 2,500 pieces of equipment are loaded with anti-icing brine and digging into the 400,000 pounds of rock salt on hand for this winter season. As soon as the sun comes up, the pavement temperatures are rapidly rising because the sun angle is steepening, and that helps us tremendously. That's, that's where salt's effective. We are probably going to have to put our plow blades down this time. In Baltimore City, MDOT trucks are dousing snow emergency routes and city gateways with brine. That way, snow and ice won't have a chance to bond to main roads. Anything to help ease a potentially messy morning commute across Maryland. Again, taking a, taking a live look now at the pre-treatment here on Charles Street. Looking pretty clear, but it's definitely going to look a little bit different tomorrow. Both state and city crews say that they are ready to get going very early in the, in the morning tomorrow, hoping that all this pre-treatment pays off. Reporting live in Mobile 13, I'm Devin Bartolotta for WJZ.